God, it's a big one. Yeah, that was freaking incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice to meet you. Got one. Big one. Got one, dude. Got it. What is up, Maffers? Welcome back to another very exciting video. I am super jacked for today because we have come to a lake where myself and Coleslaw, the camera guy, and Huxley, the fishing pooch, came last week, and we absolutely wrecked him. And I showed you guys a new product that I was using on my jerkbait, on my, my Six Sense Provoke jerkbait. I took a sticker that looked like a crappie because we saw all these crappies schooled up out here and the bass are eating them and stuff. I took a sticker and you put it on the bait. It's made to fit that exact bait. And I was watching them on my pan optics. The fish come up and inspect the lure and engulf it and not little ones, big ones. The reason I'm excited for today is we actually got the owner of that company called Crank Wraps on the boat with us. We got Chancey Walters and he's out doing some fishing with us today. Your home lake, too. That's right. The last time I seen you was here, I ran you down to give you your uh, rod sock blew out of the boat. That's, and it's a uh, funny story. It was. How many years ago was that? Probably that three was, or four, right? Yeah, definitely. Crazy. That was the funny thing about that tournament. I remember the next day, I watched a guy sit out on one spot the whole day throwing a crankbait, and it was this guy, and he just happened to win the tournament <laughs> as well. I grew up on this lake, so I'm out here all the time. I get to find little nicks and crannies. But like you said, man, little lakes like this is tough to, you know, get away in your own spot. I mean, there's exactly. only so many spots out here, so. Water's 42 degrees, so we're gonna be doing probably a lot more pre-spawn fishing, um, jerkbait jigs, stuff like that. Hopefully they're loaded up today, and uh, I think it's gonna be exciting. We'll talk to Chancey a little bit more about some, some crank wraps, and we got a couple different colors and stuff to uh, try out and use today, but get started fishing. All right, all right. Oh, it's nice, man. We fished yesterday and it sucked. So cold and misty and rainy and wind was blowing. I couldn't catch a damn fish. I got some of these here for you. I think you could like these. So these are ones that got messed up, uh -huh. but you can lay your spinnerbait blades on them. Ooh, and do I love I that, them man. On, them on a spinnerbait, don't Hell be Hell yeah, man. Do you guys print? Oh God. Look at this, real, my reel came, yeah, that's a good one. My damn reel came off. Reel's off. Look at that, we got a little acrobatic move there. Here he goes, here he goes, backwards. You still got it? Oh yeah, I just had to keep that Freaking pressure, triple baby. triple grips. Get that reel back on there. <laughs> It'll buff out. <laughs> good solid fit. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, that's probably a solid one if he's just chilling there with it in his mouth. You just made that bait too. Good solid, Ooh. solid mag. Oh, that's a that's a well built one. Mm. You got him double trouble too. You do, yeah. God, that's not a not a long fish at all. He's so fat. Look at that big old chubzilla. Oh, huh? Yeah, for those of you that didn't see the video last time, it was all about that crappie crank wrap on the jerk bait. Look at that thing. Chancey just broke one off. Put that one on on the boat there. A little wrap the on gut. it. Full of crappies. Oof. They love the crappie crank wrap, that one right there. Lost a reel, didn't lose the fish. Yeah, look at, isn't that just beautiful fish? Oh right man, like I hope we catch a 22 inch like that. He's right there on the outside of it. Right over the top. You bet. Football. Mm -hmm. The game is started. Hey, way to get it going, man. <laughs> no Hell kidding. yeah. That was awesome. Felt good. Smoked it. I was like, what's going on? He's not reeling. <laughs> yeah, that damn, I didn't have it. He might be snagged. I a couple rods up together. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm no, totally. Yeah. That's my life. Oh, no. Big, big on the outside. Oh, he got me hooked in there. On the other side of it? Oh, he come off. Yeah, he hooked on the other side of it. You got one too, don't you? Oh yeah, begging. Get oh there. God. Begging, begging. Yeah, oh no, he came no off. No way. Dude, That I couldn't move him and he wasn't even in it. Really? Yeah. Felt like a damn on, mag. carp. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of screwed you there. No, you're fine. I didn't think it was a fish. I thought it was in a brush. I didn't either on mine. I'm oh like, my and God. I can just smell him just whoa, whoa, Yeah, whoa, whoa. that's what that was doing. 
He wasn't even behind anything, though. They're going to be in here. Good God. I just didn't get a good hook in him. He came up and... It's so funny. I came back and went like that. I had, like, he was pulling the rod, and I had to, like, did this awkward deal. That's what I just did. Got me all cock there, and... Oh, it came off. Son of a gun. Another one. Yeah, just barely ticked the top of them stake bed. Yeah. Smoked it. Didn't like that, huh? Get all like a plopper bite there in the fall. It's fun. Oh, yeah. Throw them on those points and stuff. Heck, yeah. Even when it's cold. That should be a fish. Or there's one. That also could be a fish. A lot more crappie right here than there was 20 feet ago. This guy. Turbo. Uh -huh. It's a twin. You bet. I mean, who doesn't like catching? Mm -hmm. Solid three and three quarter. Bass love crappie. They love shad, but if you got a lake that's got a bunch of crappies in it, there ain't nothing better than. I mean, these fish on this lake particularly school them them crappies. That's what they eat. A lot of lakes don't have shad in them, you know what I mean, Ben? It, there's a ton. Most of the lakes around here don't. You get, give me a break, man. That's the real deal there. God, they're so healthy. Yeah, I think a lot of people get so dialed in on thinking that they only eat bluegill in lakes that don't have shad, but I think the crappie school up more and they get slower and they're softer. They're not as spiny, kind of like a shad. Yeah, yeah. So I gotta be honest, man. When, when you, I, I've seen these for a while, and they look amazing. And I've always, I painted my own stuff and I put photo finishes on baits, which is exactly what we got going on here. And it's a pain in the ass. It's a long process. You deal with clear coat and everything, it sucks. But when I saw these stickers, I was like, super cool, but there's no way it'll hold up. You guys watched the last video, myself and Cole caught like 20 fish on one bait and it was freaking spotless. Didn't tear it up at all. And so I'm like, I'm all in on these. And like, if you guys watched last time too, we got the promo code MF20. You guys can go to the Crankcraft's website, which I'll link right down below and uh, get them at a better price than you can get them anywhere else. Tell them how you came up with the design for these things though. I'm gonna catch fish, you can talk. Right on, right on. <laughs> I'll tell you, here's the deal. I always wanted a crappie crankbait and I did a little paint. I'm an artist, so right. I, I was painting and my first ones I'd start out just getting a white crankbait and painting or drawing with a Sharpie on it and getting a crappie pattern, you know? Mm -hmm. Getting something going like that and then, uh, you know, from airbrushing and stuff like that. And I was like, man, I just, and this was, Quite a few years ago, I come up with the idea, and I was like, man, I need to get something that has a real life image on the side of these baits. And it was just a thought, and then I started digging into it and eventually learned how to uh, design them. And I've done all, all the designing and templating myself. We got so many baits templated, and if we don't have something that is specifically templated for, it'll. we have something that's gonna be close that you can just slightly trim. Like this six cents, we got a, you know, the mega bass one will actually fit perfect on this thing like like a glove. Yeah. You just got to cut the tip of the tail off and you're good to go. But we got them in realistic patterns from white crappie, black crappie, bluegill, sunfish, shad, and we have some really unique colors. My partner in crank wraps, Rick Fishback, we got the Fishback Attack, blue pro color, kind of like the pro blues. Um, we got all kinds of stuff for jerk bait, spinner bait, blade wraps, whopper ploppers, all the way to your, to the every deep dive. The colors too the craw, are the ridiculous. I can't wait to get some yeah. of those on those curves. Exactly. Exactly. And, and some of the flat sides and stuff even. Yep, man. yep. We're going to get them templated for those Dude, we're gonna too. We're going to on this. Um, but yeah, the crawl colors are really awesome. Um, we got them to fit a lot of the top baits out there and, and more to come. But we're really excited about it. It's been a pretty cool little adventure here that where we opened it. Our first deal was at ICAST. Right. And we had a lot of people. I remember that. A couple yeah. years ago, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. And that was pretty pretty exciting. But uh, it's a growing business and uh, we're having a good time and they do catch fish. I mean, I, here's the deal. A lot of people are like, don't color don't matter it matters it gets you one or two fish in the boat ones that are picky and and uh, the realer the better obviously we all use our bright colors and everything like that but when you got a got a bait like that it's going to get another bite or two when it looks like the real deal but well, the hatch. it's fun too i mean it's like we talked about we all make bad decisions at the tackle store and thinking we got to have a specific color and well i might use that one and so you go pick up a color and you never use it it sits in your tackle box forever mm -hmm. well now you can turn them into the most amazing looking thing that you got simply putting a sticker on it takes a couple minutes sit down in your boat like and it's crazy i mean it's it's fun it, I and mean, it makes it fun your buddy just won a tournament on lake of the ozarks on a freaking rainbow well, this one trout right here. pattern this one right here 
there aren't trout in Lake of the Ozarks, and he won a tournament on that. It's just a, it makes your bait look super so. natural. It's something they haven't seen before. It's something yep. really cool. Yeah, well, arts and craft day, you can deck all your baits out. That's right. Know? But uh, yeah, check and get the code, and uh, we'll get you dialed in with some realistic stuff. Don't be fooled. You bet. Okay, let's catch some bigs. It takes a lot. I mean, it's a little cold out here. You gotta be careful getting them on there. If you have a little wrinkle, you just get a little lighter or whatever and heat up that vinyl. It ain't your normal material that you use on like a boat wrap or stuff like that. It's a really high adhesive, uh, real high tack. It'd be the only way. At first, I was like, man, I wanna make these things where you can take them off, put new ones on. No, you don't want them coming off in the heat of the battle. So, yeah, we're lucky. Might as well do some fishing for the world. That's exactly time. right. That's what we left Omaha about eight o'clock this morning. Drove straight through the city. Was like almost no traffic, almost no cars at all. Spooky. It's just weird. As long as we don't get stuck quarantined in the house and can't even go fish, that'd be terrible. Crazy. It is possible. Is that him? No, nah, it might have been. He was swimming away from the boat, so I don't know if he eventually got there. My bait was way too far above him, it was like two feet over him. I don't think you saw it or something. You pausing it for a long good. time? Yeah, it was like a, it was right at the end, right before I was ready to jerk it again, mm -hmm. you know? So probably a decent amount of time then. It was probably four seconds. Yeah, we caught like two or three here on the end of this. They seem to like the ends. Yeah. A fish? That would be a fish. Good one too. They're all good ones. I barely tapped that brush. I thought I was hung up and then uh -huh. one hook on One it. hook. <laughs> He's trying. You got the different color on now. The fish back. Okay. Little fish back attack right there on the six cents. That's cool too. We were talking about that a little bit ago, how you guys have blended a lot of like classic staple colors, some brighter, less natural colors and mixed them with a photo finish like that one. Yeah, that's what ripped my partner's pattern there. It's just, yeah, it's just a good, and this one usually, we, he does really well down the Ozarks with this on the, like a, in the real cloudy days. That's their, like he, that's all he throws. He's a jerk bait guy. He got me into it. Beautiful. He came up like it was summertime, didn't he? Look, well, he's ready to party. Here he comes. Come get it. There's one. Dude, that's a big long paw. That's a big fish there. Yeah, I just have one chasing mine too. God dang, Chancey, you got the dad gun. Ooh, freaking big old head on him. Whooping me. On the fish back. Fish Dude, back to light. Like, that was like eight seconds. Took a while, huh? Yeah. He's not quite as well built. Well, he is an ugly guy. He's bass. been caught 120 times. I've caught you. That's Sammy. That's a problem. I don't have names for him. <laughs> look, look at this. You think, look at this. Good he's God. Got, he's got the under lip. He does. Under tonguer. He's got issues. <laughs> I mean, why not? We'll catch him. I, don't, I ain't ready, uh, ugly or pretty. Yeah. I don't care. That's exactly right. I like all species of bass. <laughs> yeah, that was long, dude. I was low, almost like just watching the guy chainsaw him. Loaded, loaded me up. God, there he is. is. There he is. Magnum. He's got look at that herd ball. I got a fish on it. Boat up. Ooh. Oh, we got him. <laughs> That's a tub. Ooh, I got, I got. There he is. Ooh. Go ahead. Ooh. Come on, buddy. Don't you come off. Oh. Leave the birthmark on that right Yeah, he's angry. Angry. I'm glad I got him on the triple grips. This is the only spot we've been able to get bit today. Look at that weird marking. Yeah, beautiful. On the crappie guy. We've been struggling. My, I just looked down on my GoPro. We fished all over the lake. It said like two hours and 37 minutes or something since we last stopped the clip and caught a fish. We finally slid back over to where we caught some a little bit ago. And I can't say we. This is my first fish the damn day. Chancey's been putting it to him, but it's it's a slow bite. You it's just like said. Wine and dine out here though. You said like yes. If if we're gonna catch them, 
they might as well be four and a half pounders. <laughs> but yeah, that one the same thing, man. I let it sit forever. And then, boom. And then line just took off. Yeah, absolutely. Out. Very nice to meet you, man. Well, that was a good time fishing with Chansey. We had never been on the boat together. We just talked for years now. It's been a freaking tough day, though. Uh, everything we caught, I think, was a really quality fish, and that's what you get at some of these lakes. Water's 42, 43 degrees, though, and we had a bunch of rain and stuff yesterday, so we're kind of thinking post front, bluebird, wind's barely blowing at all. Just didn't freaking pan out, but uh, I don't think Coleslaw and I are, are done for the day. We're stopping where we fished the last time, caught a ton of fish. We caught like 20 fish in one brush pile big ones too um, but i think we're gonna go get some some revenge freaking pull on some the good thing is we don't have to worry about too many people being out absolutely crazy right now with the stuff going on with the virus and everything we drove through omaha this morning we left at rush hour and there was like zero traffic no one out there so hopefully all you mfers are uh staying safe um, i don't know about quarantined i would strongly encourage you to get out and actually spend some time in the water right now because there are good fish to be caught hopefully we'll be able to go catch some here at the next lake because that kind of sucked oh hey guys lake number two we made it here uh i guess we're gonna fish the spot where we caught like a million of them on the same cast over and over okay that sounds like a good plan i'm gonna start off like i did last time throwing the old prawn on the unpegged texas rig but i really want to get up there's some shallower piles here and i was throwing this kind at the end of the last lake i got this swim bait with the crappie crank wrap and once again check this out we got crappies galore everywhere see there's a massive school of crappie of course we're not trying to catch crappie we could we want to catch what's eating the craps right cole i was trying to remember we do want to catch bass big bass right Okay, big bass it is. Got him. Oof. First flip in. Had one kerplow it. Let's do that again. It could be good again, coleslaw. That'd be amazing if it is. Yeah. If it's even a small fraction. Okay, <laughs> got him. <laughs> big in. Second flip in there. Second flip. Big in. Big in. Big him? in. I got him, Cole. Okay, coming over here. Ah! Wow. Damn. That's a, way, that's a way to start it off. Okay, I guess we'll come fish this lake. Um, I'm gonna finish my cast and then I'll grab the big camera. Look at that thing. Freaking. I don't know. Because we could double I don't up. Know. We could double up, Cole. We got guys in the way. That's probably four and a half to five. Everyone watching this is probably like, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. That's a two-pounder. What That's are you talking about? That's a one and a half here in Nova Scotia, where I'm from. Nova Scotia. For those curious, though. So, he's about another, what, two inches past the 18? It's a 20-inch fish. Well, again, four and a half, five-pounder. It's got shoulders and bellies. And that was the first. No, that was the second flip. First flip in, I pulled it over. Dong, and he didn't have it. Second flip. See if we can do this again like we did the last time. Off the edge, perfect. Yeah, those are, I mean, these for sure, bass, bass, mm -hmm. are just like spinning around us. That could be a problem to lose them. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> Slip. <laughs> Slaw was using the old catfishing rod. Was not too friendly. Ooh. God. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Gotta love the hook of that smoke. Yeah, it was a fish. Smoked it. Well, it does appear that mama is home. Begging. What is this? He was fighting super weird. First throw down there with the magic tube. Dude, he like, I think he was in a brush pile or something. He's out of his mind. The magic tube, okay. They are tough today. 
freaking pulled up to that spot and they were chewing and I freaking bowed up into one. Got them pinned against the brush pile and ended up having to break off. But as what happens when you're fishing offshore a lot in these brush piles and the fish are loaded in them, if you get snagged or you snag a fish in one of them and have to break off and stuff and cause that big commotion, they can uh, they can peace out a lot of times and stop biting. They're still there, they just didn't want to bite anymore. So we moved over to another brush pile. They're being kind of finicky, so I put the magic tube on. Instant feedback, so who knows? Maybe they want all see-through today. Hey, bro. You know, there's at least a couple big ones in there. That's gotta be a bass right on me. Come on, eat it. Come look at it. Oh. Eat it. He's right on it. Is he like circling it? See him on there? It's my bait there, and yeah. that's the that might be crappie, but there was one that looked big. Ooh, here comes this guy. That's definitely not a f***ing crappie down there. Problem is I'm under the damn boat. Oh, here he comes. Got him right here. Right at the boat, dude. Yeah, he freaking followed it forever. Oh my god, it's a big one. Yeah. Hell yeah, that was a freaking incredible little sequence of events right there. Not a crazy big one, but freaking close to four pounder. Oh, Mr. Red Lips. He just wanted to look at the old crank wraps jerk bait. And I feel like this has turned into such a commercial the last several videos for these things. But today is like the most finicky day I've fished this entire spring probably. And when you need to set a bait there forever, you want them to have to look at something like that. Cole, I'm gonna catch a damn fish on this sooner or later. Tough day today. Spent about eight hours, 10 hours. 10 hours? Probably 10 hours on the water. The fish just didn't want to bite. Post front, pre front, I don't know, slick calm conditions, sunny, bluebird type stuff. They were not having it. Huxley's trying to run away. He's three houses away now. He wasn't having it today. He just sat around and was disappointed in us the entire day, but it was fun. Always good to get out with new people and fish with Chansey, um, a, a local guy with a small company like Crank Craps. It was super cool to uh, get out and catch some fish on his baits with the man, the myth, the legend. He put a little hurting on me this morning. Lost a couple good fish and did, just didn't give me opportunities. But again, if you guys want to check out Crank Wraps, I'll link them below. Um, Six Sense Jerk Baits is what we were both using the whole day. Went to the brush piles, the second lake. We flipped some some flipping baits in there. Caught some on jerk bait. Had them following this thing, but I think it's just a little bit too cold for them to come up and eat this swim bait yet. But they were definitely looking at it, but again, stupid what we did catching a couple on the pan optics the one i sat my jerk bait for like two minutes and watched him circle around it right by the boat and finally ate it stupidness thanks for watching this one if you like the bass fishing the early spring bass fishing type videos um, i'm gonna drop a playlist down below and right up there right now so go click on that playlist go check those videos out if you guys want to go catch some more fish when the water is super cold like it is right now and uh thanks for watching this one man Catch you later.